Uh, welcome to my Chine. Evergreen Health, your daily path to stronger living. Hidden symptoms of blood clots. Imagine a silent threat forming inside your body even as you watch this video. Blood clots affect as many as 900,000 people every year in the United States, and an estimated 60,000 to 100,000 Americans die annually from venous thromboembolism. Today we are uncovering nine hidden symptoms clinicians regularly encounter in emergency settings. These are not obvious alarms. They are quiet, easily dismissed issues that can precede life-threatening events only hours later. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, sudden death is the first recognized symptom in about 25% of people with a pulmonary embolism. For one in four, there is no warning and no second chance. By the time you finish this video, you will have practical knowledge that may protect you or someone you love. Stay with me, because what follows could be the most important information you hear today. Let's begin and examine the subtle signs of blood clots that too many people overlook and that you need to recognize early. Symptom 1. Sudden Shortness of Breath You climb a familiar set of stairs and out of nowhere you cannot get enough air. Your pulse surges. Dizziness hits even a near faint. This is not poor fitness. It can be pulmonary embolism, a true medical emergency. A pulmonary embolism happens when a blood clot travels to the lungs and lodges in a pulmonary vessel. The blocked region can no longer exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide, so the body drives you to breathe faster and harder in a frantic attempt to compensate. Research consistently identifies abrupt breathlessness as the most common presenting sign. The sensation escalates quickly from mildly winded to obvious respiratory distress within minutes and unlike exercise-related puffing, it does not ease with rest. The scale of the problem is immense. Pulmonary embolism affects about 900,000 people in the United States each year. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports that in roughly 25% of cases, the first recognized symptom is sudden death meaning a quarter of patients receive no warning and no chance to react. Key distinctions. The shortness of breath feels urgent disproportionate to your activity and persists despite stopping. It may be accompanied by a racing heart and lightheadedness. This pattern signals impaired blood flow through the lungs rather than deconditioning. Time is critical with pulmonary embolism. The rapid onset, the absence of relief at rest, and the escalating air hunger mark a potential life-threatening clot in the lungs. Treat sudden unexplained breathlessness as an emergency. Symptom 2. Chest pain that worsens with breathing. You are sitting still when a sudden knife-like pain hits your chest. Each deep breath, cough, or twist makes it sharper. Your first fear may be a heart attack, but there is another danger to consider pulmonary embolism a blood clot in the lungs. When a clot obstructs blood flow inside the lung, nearby tissue becomes irritated and inflamed. The pleura, the thin membrane lining the lungs and chest wall is especially sensitive. As you inhale deeply, that inflamed lining stretches triggering the classic pleuritic pain, sharp stabbing, and clearly worse with inspiration or coughing. Studies show a substantial share of pulmonary embolism cases present with this breathing-dependent chest pain. This pattern is often missed. Clinicians may initially attribute the pain to coronary disease pneumonia or a strained chest muscle, and that is risky because the treatments are entirely different. The key clinical clue is how the pain behaves. Heart attack discomfort typically does not change with breathing. Musculoskeletal pain tends to improve with rest and specific positioning. Clot-related pain, by contrast, reliably intensifies with a deep breath, a hallmark sign of lung involvement. If your chest pain is stabbing and reproducibly worse on inspiration, treat it as an urgent warning for possible pulmonary embolism. That distinct link to breathing is a critical diagnostic signal, not a minor detail. Symptom 3. Persistent cough with blood. Coughing up blood is easy to downplay at first blaming dry air or a mild bug, but blood in the sputum, especially alongside other symptoms, can signal pulmonary embolism. 
medical literature confirms that hemoptysis may occur in this setting. While it is less common than breathlessness or chest pain, it carries high significance because it implies that the clot has already injured lung tissue enough to cause bleeding. Here is what happens. A clot blocks branches of the pulmonary arteries, cutting off circulation to part of the lung. The deprived segment begins to die, a process known as pulmonary infarction. As the tissue breaks down, fragile blood vessels rupture and leak into the airways, so blood mixes with mucus and appears when you cough. The appearance can vary bright red streaks, pink-tinged froth, or rust-colored sputum. Even small amounts should not be ignored, particularly if they occur with sudden shortness of breath or pleuritic chest pain. The cough often starts as a dry, irritating tickle and then becomes productive over hours or days. Once blood shows up, it indicates meaningful tissue damage and shifts the situation from early warning to medical emergency requiring immediate evaluation. Symptom 4. Rapid Heartbeat Your heart constantly adapts to your body's demands, speeding up during exercise and responding to stress hormones when you are anxious. But a racing pulse without a clear trigger can signal your cardiovascular system is compensating for pulmonary embolism or other blood clots. When a clot narrows or blocks a vessel, the heart must push harder to move blood past the obstruction. Medical reports note that a fast heart rate is common when clots involve the pulmonary circulation because the body is trying to maintain adequate flow despite a mechanical blockage. Many people do not track their resting pulse. They simply feel pounding racing or an uncomfortable awareness of each beat and chalk it up to caffeine tension or nerves. In clot-related tachycardia, those sensations often include palpitations, noticeable skips, thumps, or flutters. Here is the strain behind that rhythm. With pulmonary vessels, obstructed pressure within the pulmonary artery can rise sharply. The heart's right ventricle suddenly faces high resistance, forcing the entire system into overdrive to keep blood moving through the lungs. Sitting down taking deep breaths or waiting it out may not resolve the problem when a clot is the cause. A rapid heartbeat in this context is a warning of significant cardiovascular stress and warrants immediate medical evaluation. Symptom 5. Swelling in one limb. Picture this. You wake up and something feels off in the left leg. The shoe fits tighter, the sock leaves deeper grooves, and you chalk it up to sleeping funny. That quiet one-sided swelling can be your body's alarm. When a clot forms in the deep veins of the leg, known as deep vein thrombosis DVT, it obstructs venous return to the heart. Blood pools below the blockage fluid shifts into surrounding tissues and the limb enlarges. The scale is bigger than most, realize. The annual incidence of venous thromboembolism is roughly 1 per 1,000 people, and DVT accounts for about two-thirds of those events. The real danger is that the clot may not stay put. In up to one-third of DVT cases, fragments travel to the lungs and cause pulmonary embolism, which is the leading driver of deaths in this condition. This swelling is deceptive because it often builds slowly over hours or days. Your brain adjusts to the change, making it easy to dismiss as normal fluctuation. Still, clinicians stress a simple rule. If swelling shows up in just one limb, particularly when paired with discomfort or aching, do not wait to see whether it settles on its own. While as many as 30% of people with DVT report no symptoms visible unilateral swelling, when it does appear is frequently the first dependable warning. It may be accompanied by a sense of heaviness, tightness in the calf, or marks from socks that seem deeper than usual. Treat one-sided swelling as a prompt for immediate medical evaluation because it can be the earliest visible sign of a dangerous clot. Symptom 6. Unexplained leg pain. Picture this. You're sitting at your desk when a sudden cramping jolt grabs your calf. You have not worked out twisted anything or taken a long walk, yet the discomfort lingers and steadily intensifies. That charley horse sensation is a well-documented presentation of deep vein thrombosis and should not be brushed off as ordinary muscle fatigue. Clot-related pain has a recognizable profile. It feels deep and internal, as though it is coming from within the limb, 
rather than from the skin or a superficial strain. Unlike a pulled muscle that eases with rest, this ache often worsens with movement and persists despite changing positions or taking a short break. The reason is physiological. A forming clot irritates the vein and surrounding tissues setting off an inflammatory response. Your nervous system interprets that inflammation as pain and flags that something is wrong. The usual hot spots are the calf behind the knee and the thigh zones where the deep venous system is particularly vulnerable. Many people mislabel the discomfort as normal aging poor posture or a minor tweak from sitting awkwardly. Yet clinical studies consistently note that people later diagnosed with blood clots often recall persistent leg pain without any clear injury or overuse to explain it. Bottom line, pain that persists for hours without an obvious cause, especially if it feels deep, grows with motion or appears alongside other concerning signs, demands prompt medical evaluation. Treat unexplained continuing leg pain as a potential warning of a deep vein, clot not as a nuisance to wait out. Symptom seven, warmth and redness. Your skin acts like an early alert display. When a blood clot forms, it sparks inflammation you can see and feel at the surface. Medical reports note that Localized warmth and color change are classic DVT clues. As a clot obstructs a vein, nearby tissues inflame, blood flow increases, and the affected spot can feel distinctly warmer than the other leg. Color shifts tell the same story. The area may look red-bluish or purple because blocked veins cause blood to pool in surrounding capillaries. Think of a traffic jam. When the main highway is closed, the side streets clog up. This sign is easy to miss because heat and discoloration often build slowly. Many people assume they bumped into something or have mild skin irritation. Superficial thrombophlebitis carries a similar pattern warmth, tenderness, pain, redness, and swelling. You might even notice a firm cord-like reddish line under the skin that is sore to the touch. If you detect a distinct patch of warmth, redness and tenderness, especially alongside swelling or aching in one leg, your body is sending a clear warning about a potential clot. Symptom 8. Severe headache or vision problems. Blood clots in the brain are uniquely dangerous. Picture waking with the worst headache you have ever felt or suddenly noticing blurred, distorted, or dim vision. These can be signs of cerebral venous thrombosis, a clot within the brain's venous drainage system. Research estimates that cerebral venous thrombosis affects roughly two to five people per million each year. The mechanism explains the symptoms. When a venous clot blocks normal outflow, blood cannot drain properly from brain tissue. Pressure inside the skull rises, circulation is disrupted, and local injury can follow. The resulting headache has features that set it apart from tension pain or typical migraines. It is severe, relentless, not like any headache you have had before, often worsening over time and failing to respond to over-the-counter remedies. Vision changes occur because elevated pressure and congestion affect the optic nerves and visual processing pathways. Medical studies show that headache is reported in about 83% of cerebral venous thrombosis cases, with ocular symptoms close behind in approximately 77% of patients. The problem is that these red flags can look like other neurologic issues so many people assume sinus trouble, a standard migraine, or simple eye strain. Treat combinations of red flag features as emergencies a new extreme headache plus visual disturbance, especially if accompanied by nausea, confusion, or difficulty speaking, requires immediate medical evaluation. These are not routine symptoms. They are potential signals of a brain venous clot and demand urgent attention. Symptom nine, abdominal pain and vomiting. Our final warning sign targets one of the most lethal and hardest to identify locations for blood clots, the abdominal cavity. Think severe, unrelenting belly pain that feels nothing like your usual indigestion or a routine stomach virus. It is intense, constant, and may come with nausea, vomiting, or blood in the stool. These features point to mesenteric ischemia, a clot blocking blood flow to the intestines. Evidence reported in the World Journal of Emergency Surgery shows that acute mesenteric ischemia 
carries a devastating mortality rate of about 60% to 80%. When diagnosis and treatment are not prompt, a thrombus or embolus that occludes the arteries or veins feeding the intestines deprives bowel tissue of oxygen and nutrients. Starved tissue begins to die. Emergency medicine literature describes a pain pattern that helps distinguish this from other abdominal problems. The pain is severe and unyielding, yet the physical exam can look surprisingly mild, a classic pain out of proportion finding. Unlike appendicitis or gallbladder inflammation, movement does not typically make it worse. Instead, the agony remains relentless and progresses. Vomiting often follows as the body reacts to dying intestinal segments and the toxins they release. Clinical series of acute mesenteric ischemia report approximately 95% with abdominal pain, 44% with nausea, 35% with vomiting, 35% with diarrhea, and 16% with rectal bleeding. Roughly one-third present with the triad of abdominal pain fever and blood-positive stools. This constellation is terrifying because it evolves quickly and mimics common conditions. People assume food poisoning or gastroenteritis. That is dangerous. Severe abdominal pain that persists and intensifies over hours is a surgical emergency that demands immediate evaluation. Why? These nine signs demand action. Each symptom you have, learned whether it involves your lungs, limbs, brain, or abdomen, is your body's emergency messaging system. None of these signals are random. They reflect the cardiovascular, respiratory, or nervous system, trying to warn you that something critical is unfolding and requires urgent attention. Blood clots are equal opportunity threats. They can strike anyone at any age, though certain situations raise risk. Major contributors include prolonged immobility, such as long flights or extended bed rest, recent surgery or trauma pregnancy, and the postpartum period, cancer, and its treatments. Specific medications, especially hormonal contraceptives, inherited clotting disorders, and advancing age. Survival hinges on rapid recognition and immediate medical care. Every minute matters with clots, particularly when they reach vital organs, like the lungs or brain, where irreversible damage or death can occur in a very short window. Clots are dangerous because they move silently through the bloodstream and lodge without warning. A thrombus that starts in the leg can break loose and reach the lungs within minutes, causing a potentially fatal pulmonary embolism. Clots in cerebral vessels can precipitate strokes that leave permanent disability or lead to death. If you experience any combination of the signs discussed, especially abrupt shortness of breath chest pain that intensifies with breathing the worst headache of your life, paired with visual changes or one-sided leg swelling and paint read it as an emergency, do not wait to see if it improves. Do not try home remedies. Trust your instincts. If something feels seriously wrong or unusually intense, it likely is, and it warrants urgent professional assessment. Clinicians would rather evaluate a false alarm than miss a time-sensitive treatable clot. Remember, this program is meant to educate and inform, not replace personalized care. If you are currently having any of these symptoms, particularly multiple signs, at once seek immediate medical attention. The guidance presented here is grounded in peer-reviewed research and the experience of respected institutions such as the CDC Mayo Clinic and Johns Hopkins. This is not internet speculation. It is evidence-based information that can genuinely save lives. If this overview helped you recognize critical warning signs, type helpful in the comments. Your feedback drives us to keep producing life-saving content. Please like the video to help others find this information, share it with family and friends who need to hear it, and subscribe for more medical insights you can use. Thank you for watching Evergreen Health. Subscribe to stay healthy every day.